Welcome to the 8th episode in this NIMBY Rail series where we are rebuilding the entirety of National Rail. We're going down the list in alphabetical order, today is G for the Great Northern. So let's get into it. So what we're going to start off with is we are going to come over here to Moorgate Station because there is one piece of track that comes down to Moorgate Station. We're going to put it in like that. So from Moorgate our next station will be Old Street which is just right here. And we're just going to very quickly just link up these two. And then from Old Street, we're just going to follow this road around like so. And over here will be Essex Road. So we're just going to put in the station kind of in the middle of the uh, junction here. And just link that up. And then here we're going to have an underground platform at Highbury and Islington. So we're just going to do something like this. And after Highbury and Islington, we're going to come up to this little section over here because right here will be Drayton Park Station. So I'm just going to move this back a little bit and put in the station just in this gap. And then just connect that up. And then at least we are on ground level here. So from here, we're just going to have a curve off from here. And this is just where we are going to have our line go into so we're just going to move this just slightly over like that so at least we can go into the line like that so now we're going to come out of finsbury park and we're most likely going to use this track over to the side so what i'm going to very quickly do is i'm just going to delete all this section of the track and in this spot here i'm going to put in harringay station maybe position that a little bit better like so and then I'm going to replace this with a brand new piece of track just there so at least we can use this platform here and over here will be our next station of Hornsey so we're also going to just put ourselves all the way up there kind of do something like this and then our next station will be Alexandra Palace and the station will be just up here. So I'm just going to put in one bit of platform just over here because that is all we need for the minute. So Ali Palace station will go in just neatly there. And from here we are going to continue to come through here and all I'm going to do for the Peterborough branch kind of ish is we are going to put that in there and that will go all the way up to Peterborough and I can forget about it for now and from here we are going to use this branch which goes through Hartford and through this branch here we are going to come off here and this line will go towards Hartford so I'm just going to get rid of this section for now because this bit in a spot will be our next station of Bose Green which is connected to Bounce Green Station over there. Just a correction is Bose Park, not Bose Green. So from here, we are just going to continue down this line all the way up to Palmer's Green here. So we're just going to quickly connect that and then continue on with our journey up. So we're just going to tunnel under here and into Winchmore Hill Station just here. like that then through here we are going to just continue up and over here will be our next station of Grange Park so we're now also going to connect that one up and continue the line down and then here will be Enfield Chase Station so I kind of need to uh, just delete that connect that into there and we are at Enfield Chase Station and then after this, the next station will be Gordon Hill, which will be after this annoying little bit of, oh, you can't build it here. Uh, Gordon Hill station will be right here. Did I exactly get it right? Uh, pretty much, but unfortunately for me, the game doesn't like that. So I'm just going to have to do this. And now from here, we're going to come out and just bend around here and come all the way up here to our next station at Cruise Hill. So we're going to just knock out the golf course from the name 
in order to rename it to Cruise Hill. And then from here, we are going to say bye bye outside of the M25 and come up to Cuffley Station over here. So we put in the station just here and kind of try our best to make that a little bit better there. And from here, our next station will be Bayford. So we're just going to try to find our way through this section. So I'm going to guess that it's through here. I'm just going to go in a straight line-ish and kind of just curve through this section. Kind of like that. And come into Bayford Station here. And then just link that up like so. And then from here, we're just going to come through like so. So we're just going to bridge over this little bit of lake. And it also appears we're going to be bridging over this. Then up here will be Hartford North Station. So now we're just going to do this. And then continue on up through here, I'm guessing. Oh, that's not going to like it at all. That's fine, watch this. Fuck. Right, never mind. Um, tunnel. Tunnel is your best friend on this game, I'm telling you right now. Apparently we also have a water or road here, and that is back at Hartford North. So I will tell the game to shut the fuck up and accept it before I knock its teeth out. There we go, just like that, it works. And then we're just going to come just through here and come to Watton at Stone Station. And then from here we're just going to come cruising round this corner and what is that I look at in the distance I cannot believe it but it is the main line into Stevenage into Hitchin so what we're going to do is we are going to come about here and we're going to just curve off from the main line into Hitchin to then come round this curve here we're then going to come all the way up here and then into Letchworth Garden City in this spot here. And then from here, what we're going to do is go to our next station of Bulldog, which isn't too far away. And the station will be located, even though there is zero indicator of the station actually being here, it is located here. So we're just going to round something like that and from here what we are going to do is just continue our little voyage up to our next station which is just by Odyssey over here I'm just putting this in this sweet little gap here will be Ashwell and Morden and then after this beautiful shit station we come all the way around here to our next station of Royston. So I'm just going to put in the station something like this, move it back a little so at least I can do something with it. Like curving out of it because I don't want to be here for much longer. So after uh, Royston, we are going to just be heading out of here pretty much ASAP, pretty much. And our next station will be right here, which is Meldreth Station. And after this station, I can't lie, I've already forgotten the name of it. I'm going to come here, we're going to tunnel under the road. And we're going to come into Shepreth Station just here. So we're just going to have a little curve around the entire area just to actually get into the station here. Probably should have made it a curve station, but oh well, too late. And our next station as well is right here. I'm just going to put this on top of the entire junction because uh, why not? Because at this point um, it's easier and I don't have to put it underground. So that will be at Foxton Station. And now from here what we're going to do, so we're going to continue coming all the way down this line and we're going to be curving up this way. And the station hasn't been built just yet because it is currently under construction. But what we're going to do is we're going to add in Cambridge South Station just as a little bonus. 
and now we can go into Cambridge Station. So I'm going to opt in to use the left because we already have our line running through Cambridge North, Water Beach, Eli, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to uh, continue down this line just like so to our next station of Little Port. What the fuck? My nan could fucking go over that, but sure, whatever. So we're going to continue going straight past Little Port. Because why build your station right next to the town when you can shove it all the way over here out of the way? It's not inconvenient at all. Like, at all. Why, why just shove it here, like, down there, when you can shove it all the way down here, down this fucking bend? You know what? It just makes sense so from here what i do like about this new nimby rails update is that all the water you can see is kind of like just little paths which uh, google maps says are full on the rivers oh I like this bastard here but this uh, new update of nimby rails uh, version 1.10 is honestly such an amazing update and I thank the developers very much for he's making my life just that slight bit easier whilst playing this game. My next station will be Downham uh, Market, which is right here. Apparently this station is called Train Car Parking. Uh, fair enough. Uh, we're not going to be uh, Train Car Parking, but we are going to be continuing down this line. So we're just going to continue to our next station of Watlington right here. Oh my god, what amazing timing. I say what the next station is and I went right next to their next station. Wow. But from Watlington, this means the uh, Great Northern is very much nearly complete because we have one station to do. Now you may be asking, what station is that? Um, to be honest, I didn't even know either, but it is King's Lynn, which I'm guessing we're going to come around this silly little river and bend around here into the station, which is located in this little gap here. And apparently this area is a free running area. Yippee. So we're just going to re rename this to King's Lynn for now. And I'm just going to at least... Oh, I didn't want to move the station, but... Oh, well, that will do. So that is the entirety of the Great Northern done. We only need to do the little branch off from Moorgate into Finsbury Park. Also add the couple stations there and take our line through Hartford back in and then come through Hitchin all the way up to Kings Lynn. So as you see, this is the second cheapest line behind the Gatwick Express costing $90 million, this costing $285 million, and the C2C costing $351 million. So we're just going to build all blueprints here, and we're going to put in the Great Northern. So I'm going to start off doing the King's Cross to Eli route, which is 10 and 0 0.5. So we're going to zoom all the way down into King's Cross over here. We're just going to opt to go for the furthest one. And we're going to go all the way up to Cambridge Station and at Cambridge North, Water Beach and Eli. And then we're just going to bounce back through these three stations here. This will have the class 387 Electrostar on it. And I'm gonna have two trains on it just so it is so it is close to one hour per service. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clone this line, put the nodes up for passenger service first. And this one's going to be the King's Cross to King's Lynn. So we're going to continue using these stations, but we're going to go north out of Eli stop at Little Port. So we're going to stop at all the these stations along this line. So I'm guessing this is just the local uh, King's Lynn route down here. And we're going to go through Eli. So we're going to have three trains in this to make it every 52 and a half minute service. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the King's Cross Letchworth line. So we're going to use the exact same as all the others. We're going to opt for the AN. We're going to go through Finsbury Park, Alexandra Palace, Potter's Bar, Hatfield, Warren Garden City, Warren North, Nebworth, Stevenage, 
kitchen and led to our garden city. So now we're just going to go down the line at the stations that we stopped off at. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to just shove two trains on it. I could shove one train on it and be 20 minutes off, or I can shove two on it and be 20 minutes off for an hourly service, but that will do just fine. Now I'm going to clone this line because we are going to go to Cambridge. So we're going to use the exact same stations here, apart from we're going to use the Eastern platform here and stop at all these stations along this route. So come into Cambridge South, so even coming through Cambridge South and coming into this platform at Cambridge and coming back down all the way through this uh, local route through Cambridge Shear and even Hertford Shear back into Cambridge Shear back into fucking thing here and that will now go through so I'm going to put into trains so we're going to have two trains along that line going one hour and ten minutes and now we're going to do the Moorgate to Bowen Garden City branch using the exact same settings we will come all the way down to Moorgate Old Street basically come through all these stations here then Hangi, Hornsey, Alexandra Palace, New Southgate, Oakley Park, New Barnet, Hadley Wood, Potter's Bar, Brookman's Park, Wellham Green, Hatfield, and then we're going to come into Welwyn Garden City there. And then we're just going to go back through all of the stations that we have stopped at. And into Moorgate just like that. This will be two trains per hour, so with two trains we will make it into 39 minutes. Now this one will be the Moorgate to Stevenage, so using the exact same settings once again. I'm going to use Moorgate, Old Street, Essex Road, basically all of these along here, up to Hornsey, Alexandra Palace, and we're going to use every single stop along this route here. All the way up to Stevenage. And then from one at Stern, we can use this branch at Stevenage, and it also doesn't go onto the main line at all as well. And just like that, we are back at Moorgate. So I'm gonna shove two trains on this line too, and I'm going to also shove on an extra train to make it a train every 32 minutes. So that is now all the services done for the Great Northern. It is time to fast forward a full 24 hours to see how much money the Great Northern will make in a single day. So we are now a full 24 hours into the service of the Great Northern. So we're going to see how much money it makes. We can see the King's Cross to Cambridge makes 819,000. The King's Cross to Eli makes 368,000. The King's Cross to King's Lynn makes 475,000. The King's Cross to Letchwork makes 533,000. The Moorgate to Stevenage makes 1.2 million. And the Moorgate to Wellwyn makes 722,000. So the Great Northern makes 4.1 million or 4,188,862 in total. So that is it for the Great Northern, making three times as much as previous episodes of the Grand Central. Next episode will be the Great Western Railway, so I will see you all then for a very long episode. Goodbye.